So in today's video, we are back to talk about all the fragrances that I wore over the past week. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do wanna quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you've never seen one of these videos from me, they are very relaxed. I film them on my phone. I come to you every single day to let you guys know what fragrance I'm wearing, a little bit about the fragrance and why I chose it for that particular day and or occasion. And then at the end of the video, I'll come back and share with you all my three standout fragrances for the week. And those standouts can be either for the good or stand out for the bad. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week's fragrances. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. So this morning for my fragrance, I started out in the shower. I used this Native Body Wash and the scent Gummy Bears, and this smells like gummy bears. It smells so delicious. This was 100% inspired purchase by Capo Beauty. She talked about this either on her Instagram or video. I'm not quite sure which one. But um, yeah, I went in Target, had to pick it up. So I started out with this. And then for my lotion, I apply the Body Shop Fresh Raspberry. This smells like a very fruity, sweet, candied raspberry. It's delicious smelling. I'm pretty sure this one is discontinued. Unfortunately, I think I got, yeah, I got mine at TJ Maxx. So keep your eye out for it there, but it's really nice. Kind of smells like uh, Starburst or something. And then for my actual fragrance today, I'm wearing Minnie Mouse by House of Siage. I haven't worn this in a long time, but it is a beautiful, fruity, floral, kind of fluffy, marshmallowy scent. Kind of remind. Don't get cat pen. No, I didn't. I don't know where it's at. Y'all probably lost it. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like raspberry whipped cream or ice cream or something like that. <laughs> Like I said, I haven't worn it in a long time, but I just randomly, when I came in my closet to pick out my clothes today, it caught my eye and I said, I'm gonna wear that. I feel like wearing something fun and fruity. So that's what I'm wearing. I do have the travel spray as well. So I am going to take this with me in my purse um, just in case I wanna touch up. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. Hey y'all, it's Sunday night and tonight I'm wearing Hypnotic Poison by Dior. This is a almondy vanilla scent that smells fizzy. It has also some licorice in there. This is a classic. I don't feel like I need to spend much time on it, but I honestly didn't know what I wanted to wear while I was taking a shower. So when I got out, this is kind of an easy reach for nighttime for me. So that's why I went for this. So this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Monday. So today I am wearing Amber Fever by Mancera. I'm on my way to work. Um, so this is not something I would normally wear to work. And I was honestly between this and another fragrance and I kind of feel like I should have chose the other fragrance. <laughs> Just because I really wanted to wear something that would make me feel happy today. Like I wanted a fragrance that like I wear for myself that I can smell the entire day. And I picked this one over the other one just because I wear the other one more. And I haven't worn this one much, but I kind of feel like I would have should have worn the other one. And it's nothing against this fragrance. It's just that the other one, I should have just went my first mind, you know. But anyway, this is an amber scent as the name would imply. But it's the type of amber that is very like transparent. It's not thick. It's not heavy. Similar to the amber that you get in 540. Sorry, I got to drive now. Pause. Sorry, had to drive, but as I was saying, the ambering to the ambery nuances that are in 540 are similar to what's in Amber Fever, but to me they do not smell alike, but they do have that in common. But this fragrance also has some brighter notes to it, like some uh citrus notes, not sure what, but it smells like uh probably bergamot, lime, and lemon no orange type citrus to me and it, that makes it kind of a bright fragrance to me but then it sits on a musky base this is not a review y'all i'm talking too long um but it, the musky base is very similar to other mancera fragrances in my opinion so anyway i'm wearing this today <laughs> long story long this is what i'm wearing for today Hey all, it's Monday night. I am really tired. So tonight I reached for an easy reach fragrance for me for bedtime. And this is Lipstick On by Maison Margiela. I've talked about this. I feel like in almost every one of these videos. But um, it's a like waxy, lipsticky, tonka, cherry 
type scent. It's beautiful to me. Uh, unfortunately, this is discontinued, so I'm not going to spend any more time on it. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Get ready to get out of the house. And this morning, I am wearing, I started out by applying this Mojave Ghost body wash. I love this body wash and this is only like my second time using it, I believe, but I have used it like at a hotel before, but out of this bottle, I think I've only used it about twice. So I started out by applying this. Next, I went in with this body lotion and again, um, this is Mojave Ghost body lotion. I do not apply this all over my body. I use something more moisturizing on my legs, feet, basically my lower half of my body. And then I use this on my top half of the body because I feel like that's the best way to get the scent payoff and I'm not as dry up top as I am on the bottom. <laughs> And then you guessed it, for my fragrance, I'm wearing Mojave Ghost. I really just wanted spa vibes today. I already got my workout in for this morning. So I'm getting ready to take my kids to school and then my husband and I are gonna go to breakfast. So I just wanted something kind of clean, calm, spa type vibe. So I went for my Mojave Ghost. Um, this one is kind of hard to explain, but overall just gives me, gives me spa type vibes. It's very fresh and a little bit green, a slightly bit woody, um, but just, really nice. So this is my fragrance for today. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday night. I just took a shower and tonight I'm wearing Zadiga Voltaire. This is her. This is a milky sandalwood scent. And when I say milky, I mean lactonic. Like it actually smells like there is a milk note in here, but it doesn't go sour. It's actually on the sweeter side and a very creamy sandalwood, very cozy and comforting to me. I typically wear this one to bed, but I know some people, you know, wear this out during the day, but I just really find it pleasing for being in the house or going to bed so i really didn't know what i wanted to wear tonight so this is kind of an easy reach bedtime scent for me hey y'all happy wednesday i am getting ready to take the kids to therapy and then to school so my fragrance that i'm wearing for right now is prada amande this is a light powdery almond scent that kind of reminds me of laundry detergent but it doesn't really smell like that but it gives me very clean vibes so i picked this today just because i wanted something kind of light but i didn't want to go the citrus route this morning so this is what i'm wearing Hey y'all, it's still Wednesday and I am showered and everything. And my fragrance I'm wearing for the actual day is Zerjov Ouverture. This fragrance is kind of an odd one for me to explain. And it's not one that I wear very often, but I do really enjoy it. Um, I think it had... I think the main note that I can smell in here is fig, but I also feel like there is some coconut in here, but not like a sweet suntanny coconut, but like a coconut creaminess to this fragrance. And then this also has some woodiness to it and something a little bit deeper. Not really sure what, um, but this is one of my Zerjoffs that I really don't wear very much, but I really need to because it is really good. I just don't reach for it. Um, I know y'all probably see my fragrances look kind of empty back there, but that's because I've been filming videos and I have not put my fragrances away yet. So that's why they're not gone, guys. They're just being used right now. So anyway, um, yeah, I just went for this fragrance because it caught my eye when I was looking at my collection. And so I just decided to go ahead and wear it, although it doesn't match like what I'm wearing today. <laughs> It doesn't match what I'm doing, but I was like, just, just wear it, Aisha. Just wear it. This is one that I need to just wear so that I can kind of get to know it more. But again, this is Overture from Zerjoff. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday night and tonight I am wearing Coffee Break by Mason Margiela. This is actually my first time wearing this since I repurchased it. Whoa, <laughs> this is a... Um, lavender and coffee and vanilla type scent. Don't have much more to say about it because I just sprayed it on, but I picked this tonight because I just wanted something calming. I just finished washing my hair and I just wanted something that's kind of nice and cozy. So that's why I picked this one for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So today I am wearing Kayali Must 12. As you can see, I'm already out and about waiting for my kids' therapy to start, but I, um, brought my fragrance with you with me so i can share it with y'all didn't have to, time to this morning anyway i just wanted something kind of clean smelling and pretty i have some appointments and stuff um so i'm not going straight back home after i drop them off so i just wanted to make sure i smelled good for that and something not too loud because after that i'm going to pilates so it'll be a busy day for me y'all <laughs> so anyway this is my fragrance for today Hey you guys, still Thursday and I had time to come take a shower before I go back to pick out 
to go pick up my kids. So uh, I decided to apply Italica from Zerjoff after my shower just because I wanted something that I love. I just really wanted a scent that I love today. So I picked this. It's a sweet almond toffee, bready, lactonic type scent. Gorgeous. Love it. And yeah, I smell delicious right now. So it's Thursday night and I'm wearing vanilla musk oil to bed just because I really didn't want anything heavy. I wanted something light and just wanted to smell good. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So today I'm wearing Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirkjean. I have not worn this in a while and I kind of feel like I made the wrong choice this morning. <laughs> But anyway, this is a uh, beautiful, elegant, vanilla, kind of rosy type scent. It does have juniper berry in there as well. That gives it a bit of a freshness, a bit of a greenness, but it's not a green fragrance by any means. But it's beautiful, very classy. Um, and I don't, I just picked this because it caught my eye, but I kind of feel like I should have worn something else um, because I'm getting ready to take my kids to school and then later I have Pilates and I kind of feel like after I sprayed it on myself that it was maybe a little bit too strong for Pilates. However, I do have about four hours, yeah, about four hours before my class starts. So hopefully it would have worn off enough by then. I didn't over spray it, but I just felt like the type of scent was a little bit too strong for Pilates, but we'll see. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, happy Saturday, but let's actually just pretend it's Friday night because I forgot to come on here Friday night and share with you all my fragrance. But I was wearing Mazenda Mateau number five and it was actually my Valentine's Day date night because, you know, Valentine's Day is on a weeknight. So yeah, I won't be going out on Valentine's Day. So we went out early to celebrate. And so this is what I chose. I actually talked about it in my Valentine's Day fragrance recommendations video. So um, I will link that for you all if you're interested, but this is what I ended up wearing. Okay, now happy Saturday. <laughs> so I started out uh, for my fragrance for the day, I started out by applying this vanilla cashmere body lotion from EOS. And then on top, whoa, I applied Tom Ford Metalique. I haven't worn this in a while, but I love this scent. And every time I wear it, I just want to keep wearing it. But yeah, I applied this on top. I picked this fragrance because um, it just kind of came into my head. But also, I am getting ready to go to a little event for our business. We're not working the event. We're just going to show our faces as the owners. Um, so we're going to the event for a few. So I didn't want anything too loud, but I did want to smell... I did want to smell different and still good. So Metalique, I feel like is a really great choice for that because it is a vanilla scent, but it has these aldehydes in it that kind of give it this kind of soapy, not soapy, kind of give it this clean metallic vibe, but in like the best way possible. It's so good and it's unique, but it's not offensive. It's not going to be for everybody because I think some people that smell it, they associate a metallic smell with blood. I don't, not in this fragrance anyway. Um, but I think it won't be for everybody, but I will tell you that when I'm wearing this, people always compliment, compliment me on it. So I think to people around you, it's very likable, but for the person actually smelling it, getting ready to spray it, it's probably not the safest blind buy because it is unique. Anyway, this is my fragrance for today. Hey y'all, it's Saturday night, getting ready to go watch a movie with the hubby. And tonight I'm wearing Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Y'all know I love this fragrance, so I need no reason to wear it. Plus, like, I have been not spraying this lately because I'm basically out. Like, <laughs> it's getting to the point where, like, if I spray it, it's kind of shooting out little droplets. <laughs> so, um, I've been savoring it because I've been trying to find the 100 ml bottle on sale. <laughs> I've been trying to wait for a sale and I actually found one today and ordered it. Um, if it's available when I post this video, I will link it for you all. But when I checked earlier today, it was already sold out. So if they restock it, I'll link the sale one for you, but no promises. But anyway, since I ordered the new one, I feel like I can use this now. So <laughs> this is what I'm wearing for tonight.
all right so my fragrance week was a little bit up and down this week I, it wasn't all good it was mainly good but it wasn't all good like i feel like some of my other videos come out to be but anyway i do have three standout fragrances to share with you all so the first one that i have is rosinda mato number no. five now this is the fragrance that i wore out for my date night and this is a standout because it did what it was supposed to do for me like it made me feel very confident i felt like i smelled really good sexy sophisticated sensual i don't feel like my fragrance was clashing with dinner and i could smell it basically on me the entire night but it kind of was a standout for a bad reason because my husband said he couldn't smell it on me <laughs> Now, he did say that he couldn't smell it on me, but then this morning when I woke up and he gave me a kiss on the cheek, he said he could smell my fragrance at that point. And I was just so tired last night. I usually am a night showerer and a morning showerer, but I was so tired last night I didn't take a shower. So I still had this on. I didn't reapply it or anything, but I still had some on my skin and he could smell it this morning. Now, I have a theory. <laughs> I think he couldn't smell this on me because of the fragrance he was wearing. And I brought that in here to share with y'all. So the fragrance he was wearing is Haltane from Parfums de Marley. And this one I love, but I also kind of hate because I feel like it overtakes anybody else's fragrance. And when he's wearing it, I feel like he can't smell what I'm wearing because this is just like in your nostrils. But this does smell really good. So I can't be too mad at it. But um, yeah, that's my theory. I think that's why he said he couldn't smell it on me. The second standout fragrance is from House of Siage, and this is Minnie Mouse. So the reason this is a standout is, number one, I haven't worn it in a while, but when I sprayed it on, I felt like I just smelled so delicious. It's young and fun without being juvenile at all. Loved it. And I wore this to church. Sorry, I'm showing y'all my bottle backwards. <laughs> I wore this to church but then afterwards we ended up going to a theme park that afternoon and so I still had this on and I could smell it on myself the entire time I was at the theme park and it wasn't overpowering or anything but I got little whiffs of it and it smelled really good and it was hot that day we were walking around I was sweating but this still stood the test of time so this thoroughly impressed me this week. And then the last standout fragrance is Amber Fever from Mancera. Now, the reason this one is a standout is because I wore this to work on Monday and it was one that I felt like I made the wrong choice, like I should have worn something else. And so I was kind of like regretting it. I thought it was going to bother me throughout the day. But y'all, when this warmed up on my skin, like when I actually started working, I move around a lot for my job. So once I actually started working, like I could get little whiffs of this. It wasn't overpowering. It smelled so good. I did get a compliment too but that wasn't until like late in the day so it had nothing to do with the compliment it was just that as I started moving around I just really started enjoying this it really came to life on my skin and I know I will be wearing this more I think this one even though it's an amber scent I think for me this is probably going to work out better for warmer days I mean we always kind of have warmer days I think that this really works well in the heat so this was my third standout so those are all the fragrances that I wore over the past week. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances that I mentioned and also let me know if you had a standout fragrance over this past week. I hope you all had a great fragrance week and you have a great one coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on so you don't miss a video from me. Also, follow me on my blog. It's www.simplyaisha.com and follow me over on Instagram. It's at simply.aisha.blog. And for both of those, I always have the links in the description box below, along with the links for all of the fragrances and like layering products down below as well. Hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.